Hello! Greetings on a rainy day in Michigan. I'm actually coming to you live right now from the University of Michigan. It's just a beautiful campus. You can see some of the fall colors behind me. I'll turn around a little further so you can see a little bit more. Yeah, hi, I am so happy and grateful to be here with you on this rainy day in Michigan from the University of Michigan where I have come this morning to speak and teach a group, a class of 400 level students studying about workplace organizational design actually. It's a group of engineers and material scientists and organizational um, level type people. Students ready to graduate in the next year or so and go out into the workplace and they're learning about workplace coaching and they invited me. I'm so happy and grateful that Deborah Levitrasser um, invited me and their teacher. So I met her through the Michigan Lean Consortium. I'm really happy to have the connection and be here on this beautiful campus. And I thought, what a wonderful opportunity to come to you live today to talk about this idea of workplace coaching and why it is so very, very important to be able to have people in your life, and especially in the workplace, that can help you shift and transform and produce even more and greater results in your life, in your workplace. Why is it important? And what is workplace coaching? So um, I just love it. Right here behind me is the, the uh, engineering, material science and engineering class where we had our discussion and it was a very interactive group, got them up and moving around. And we, I, I introduced to them the ideas of what does it take to master yourself and master your results and what is the formula by which everyone creates results. And um, so many great questions came out of that and then a bunch of laser coaching as well. So I love being a coach. I love helping people transform their results and I love working in the work place environment with teams of people or individuals so that they can produce even greater results for the organization and for themselves and really find a vision and a role for themselves. So I'd like to talk to you about three things today while I'm here, making it to the Big Ten. Um, maybe I'll come up with a list of ten for the Big Ten University of Michigan, but not right now, not in the rain. I am thinking about three things today. Place coaching and why is it important, and what might that look like in your workplace if you were to experience it. So what is workplace coaching? Workplace coaching is having people in your organization. It may be peer-to-peer -peer coaching, which is a little different, but can be a type of coaching. It may be managerial level, where people um, can talk to their employees about what it is that's going on and how can we be have greater results, how can we reach for more potential and pull that out of people. And it can happen at the professional consulting kind of level. That's the level where someone like myself comes in and works with the team, works with the leadership, and works with individuals so that they can produce even greater results and really achieve great things together um, towards some great vision and goal objective in a way that makes people feel really good and really aligned. So there you go, three different kinds of workplace coaching that can be happening um, at the peer-to-peer -peer level, at the managerial level, and at the consultant level where you have additional resources added to your team. Hi, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining me. I'm live from U of M. It's a beautiful fall, rainy day. I just love teaching about the coaching principles with a group of University of Michigan. And so we were talking about why workplace coaching is so important as we work through our organizational development. Um, so there you go, the three levels of workplace coaching you might be experiencing. So what does workplace coaching look like? Well, I'll tell you what, coaching is not therapy. Coaching is not counseling, and coaching is not advisory counsel, kind of consultation, okay? So coaching is the ability to draw out of somebody their very, very best, and helping them grow and achieve even more 
often by asking leading questions. We want to ask questions. So the kind of coaching I do is evocative coaching in which a lot of questions are asked. We spend a lot of time in exploration and in inquiry and really understanding enough about the problem that we can begin to create solution and not so much that we're going into story where we get mired down in history. If someone wants to really go into a therapeutic role and dive into why things are the way they are, how things professional counsel. So coaching is not therapy. Coaching is not coming in as a advisory consultant and saying, here's what your organization should do, here are the steps, here are the processes, here's um, you know, the things that you're going to do and then you go and do them, okay? So coaching is, we absolutely use processes, we absolutely have recommendations, we do have advice that we give. Um, but as an evocative coach, I'm not practicing directive um, coaching, which is coaching. And often managers and people new to leadership roles will fall into the directive coaching by kind of innate design, I guess, uh, naturally. It's, a, it's the kind of coaching we're all familiar with, where it's a parent kind of a role, where you might say, here's what I know, here's what I know best, here's the steps you should take. And then you want to bring up patient you want to be present a little here because I'm using the free Wi-Fi so bear with me but um, so I lost my thought for a second okay coaching enables you to reach in and ask the right questions Or, if you're trying to accomplish something, what kinds of activities, what kinds of resources, what kinds of actions can you take to go, really go for the gold? So, it's a series of processes, a series of questions, and it helps you come to your own conclusions. It helps you come to your own insight. And that is so much more powerful because you're not being just told to go do something. You are able to arrive at that and learn the thinking process that goes along with it so that the next time you're able to reproduce that. And the more and more often you reproduce it, the more you're firing and wiring your brain so that you reach a whole new level of thinking, which then produces a whole new level of consistent, reliable, repeatable results. So when I just tell somebody to go do this, that this is the steps, this is how it worked for me, and I know that it'll work for you, I think it'll work for you, I'm not teaching them to fish. I'm just giving them the fish and, and telling them to go make dinner. So we want to bring them to the riverbank, so to speak, of ideas and help them go fish for their own ideas, go fish for their own thinking so that they can reproduce that and still produce dinner. So what that does in the long term is create a level of collaboration, engagement, and participation that a manager, if they're using this kind of coaching, suddenly finds their time freed up. They're not having to handhold so much. Their employees are taking the initiative, looking for innovative solutions. They're, they're making changes, right? We want to be empowering people to be able to take ownership and responsibility and to you know, still follow the chain of command as necessary, but to really have some freedom in creating their own results. And then ultimately that just means better results for the, the organization and the company. I just love these trees behind me, so I just have to keep sharing that. So here at University of Michigan, well, during my coaching session with the students, we talked a lot about that. We talked about what that might look like and I actually shared with them the results formula. This is something I love teaching people so they start to understand why it's so important that it matters who we're being and what we're thinking in a given day. And so as a manager, as a leader, as a CEO, as someone who wants to improve the results of your team, someone who wants to create, be a change agent and create change agents, I really highly recommend that we have a longer conversation because a workplace coaching can absolutely make the difference between your team struggling to produce the results they would love and being energetically drained and negative or having the results they would love and then some and creating an environment where people feel like they come to life when they come to work, 
and that they are excited, they're engaged, and they feel valued, and their contribution matters. And that ultimately is what good coaching can do. You can learn to be a good coach as a manager and a leader, and it's very powerful to have a consultant like myself come in with the coaching experience to guide your team through processes. And in the process, you get to learn what coaching looks like and use it. I can teach you all about that. So if you don't have workplace coaching in your office, if you would love more coaching, if you are having coaching on uh, manufacturing floor, but it's not the we'll have a, a free strategy session. If you would like to learn more about coaching in your own personal life, so that you can be a more uh, go getter and achiever, absolutely. All right, I'm dropping my call here. Sorry about that. Um, so uh, what I was trying to say there is, yes, either way, if you're in a team, a manager, leadership position, or you're just an individual who would like to these students here at University of Michigan, let's have a call. I'll put a link in the comments below where you can set up a free conversation, a free strategy session. We'll talk about what it is you're doing now, where you would love to be, and how coaching matters in your particular way of thinking okay so um, I'm looking to work with more co more companies and more teams if you're interested in learning more about that um, we can have a conversation about that too so I love being here and um, I will say this there was snow when I left Grand Rapids I drove to from Grand Rapids and we did have snow in Grand Rapids before I left. Um, it mostly is rain here but it is definitely chilly and uh, uh, hopefully it's just rain when I get back to Grand Rapids but we did not escape October without the first snowfall. So here we are. I just love this. Isn't that a beautiful campus? Thank you for listening if you've made it this far in the uh, video. Um, and I'm really, really grateful that I was able to be here and helping support 48 or so students here at the Material Sciences and Engineering Workplace Organizational Development and their training. So here's I'm having a great experience as I go forward in their education and and they have a better understanding of what coaching is and I hope you do. So, talk later and have a great, great day. It is your day. It's the only day you have. So make it a great one and decide what it is.